Come here. Costa. Come here, mate. Come get the stick. Ready? <laughs> oh my gosh. Bob grasshoppers. Morning for a bit of extra shade and to dry it out because we've been in the rain a little bit the last 
you know, week, I suppose. Um, and even when it's rolled up, moisture still gets in there. So while we've got a very still, hot afternoon, I thought I'd roll it out and let it dry out a bit. And uh, Clem, Liam and the pups are out here playing in the stream. They're saying it's not that refreshing, hey? No, it's like lukewarm. Oh, it's like bath water. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's weird. It's a little bit cooler out where it's blowing, but not by much. Yes. Oh, the dogs are having fun either way, aren't you? Yeah, Liam's having fun. Hey? Mm. All right, we have an ant infestation. So Clem is busy pulling everything out of the cupboards to get to them, aren't you? Oh, man, it's not pretty. I am in my bra because it's so hot. Um, so they came in, I noticed one this morning and it's gotten worse over the day. So not the best spot to try and deal with an ant infestation. But they are everywhere. So they're behind the couch, all up the walls, in the angle. They've gone into the top cupboard here, which I've just cleaned. Well, so that's where we keep our flour, our oats, icing sugar, uh, salt, pepper, things like that. Um, but yeah, they've got into the oats. So Clem's just throwing them outside for the moment, we'll deal with them shortly. She's going in behind the couch here, that just fell close to the back wall, they're all in behind there. We don't tend to use Mortine um, inside the van at all, but we've had to resort to it today. And it's stinking hot, it's 38 degrees outside at the moment, it's 4pm, or after 4, it's almost 4.30 now. So everything is getting... Everything's getting a wipe down now to get that Mortine off and then we'll spray him white and then we'll put everything back in and give everything a wipe. So it's going to take us about half an hour, I think. And, um, Liam's nutty, aren't you, mate? You're nutty bum? Yeah. yeah. Liam, you're not allowed to play with the grey box, give it. All right, well, let's get this done right. so we can see <laughs> See ya. Good boy, where's the zebra? A baby. No, the zebra. Where's the zebra? You can do it. This giraffe. Oh, a giraffe. Has a long neck. Zebra. <laughs> yeah, this one. This zebra has stripes. Ah, <laughs> good morning. We are now. Back in the NT. We spent uh, the night at the Camerville Billabong, which we actually stayed at when we went into Queensland four and a bit months ago. Um, but it was hot. Like it was hot during the day, but we had a bit of shade and, uh, and played in the water and stuff like that. Um, but then overnight, I think it only got down to 28 degrees over the whole night. It was so still, so hot, so sticky. Uh, so Liam actually slept in the big bed with Clem, um, just so we could get fans on because he can't sleep with the window open yet, he's too little, we don't want him climbing out of there, um, and we mesh screen him in so he doesn't fall out, so there was not a lot of airflow in his bunk, so he slept on the big big bed with Clem and I slept in his bunk, um, and the dogs were just on the floor and they had their own dedicated fan, hence these are the days that we, we're glad we don't have those Sorocco fans like permanently installed. We've just got clip-on um, 12 volt fans and we just moved around. So I had one down on the oven door, blowing straight down onto the uh, floor for the dogs. So they were okay, I think. Um, but then today we've just rolled out at like 7.30 in the morning. Uh, got a headwind, big headwind. It doesn't seem windy for you now, but the car's feeling it. Not that I feel it moving the car, but we're chewing some fuel. Yeah, we're really thirsty today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm glad we topped up in camera wheel. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're just, we're just cruising. We're only going to get to Barclay Homestead today, so I think it's only like a 280k drive, maybe even less. Um, get in there nice and early, Liam can have a nap in an air-conditioned van today. Uh, we can have a bit of downtime. I might do some editing because I'm pretty behind. <laughs> yeah, we try and keep up, but the easiest way to do editing is when you've got power and when you've got reception. And having that combination of two things, plus having me around to take Liam. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It can be really tricky. That's right. It's a hobby. The, the YouTube's a hobby. It's, we didn't ever want it to get in the way of our travels. So if we're enjoying our travels, it falls behind. So, so be it. it. <laughs> but we'll catch up soon. We're going to be stopping for a little while. Yeah. Uh, we are going to keep punching that direction. Uh, only another 100 k's, I think. So we'll roll in nice and early, have an early lunch, and spend the afternoon chilling out. Hopefully go for a swim. I think they've got a good pool there from memory. Hey! 
How'd we go? Okay, yeah, it was good. 40 bucks a night for power and water. Yep. Um, pool's up and running and ready to go. Beautiful, and they let yeah. us check in nice and early, which is nice. Absolutely, yeah, they do not mind at all. Cool. Sweet. Alright, giving ourselves a bit of shade. They told us just to pick a site, so we picked one under a nice big tree. Pool's only just there. First things first, I'm gonna uh, plug the van in so we can get the aircon crank and get the dogs in here. Ah, look at you with your big hat on. That's cute, isn't it? Oh, hey? oh, Alright, so personal preference. I actually run a little bit nose down on the van. Um, some people say you should have it completely level. I'm a believer of the 20 to 40 mil or whatever it is. I like to just be a little bit nose down. Uh, we've been travelling for almost 13 months now. The van's never wobbled, never stepped out, nothing. And I think it helps with a bit of the aerodynamics as well. Um, so sometimes when we pull up on a really level site like we are now, um, we're a bit high in the back. So we like to be a little bit high in the back. Some people say they would like to be high in the front, but well, we prop ourselves up on pillows in the front anyway. So if it snows down, it doesn't affect us sleeping. And Liam's head is then up because he's only around a very thin pillow. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to get the jockey wheel out and just take a little bit of the weight off of the car suspension um, and just bring it to almost level. And that's it, just take the weight off the car. Like I haven't even, I haven't jacked up the car or anything, it's just taking the weight off the hitch. Um, and then now we're leveled inside. But I've lost a little rotary knob for the jockey wheel. And I broke one of our hose connections. So it's working in place of that at the moment. So the little knob was never um, crimped on properly um, from, from the get go. It would always fall off. Um, but it looks like we finally lost it now. Uh, one of the last stops, I suppose. So yeah, that's actually working pretty well. Anyway, Clem's inside cooking. Well, not cooking. <laughs> it's too hot to have anything like that for uh, lunch. I think she's just doing a little platter of goodies, like, um, like we've been doing a bit lately. She's got the aircon cranked. Liam, dogs are all inside. Let's have a look. Oh, oh I feel that cold air already rushing out. What have we got going on in here? Lunch. Yeah, lunch, that's mm -hmm. right. Nice light lunch butter, hey? Mm. Oh, oh man, it's instantly better in here. It's hot out there. Mmm, you want carrot, that's right, kiddo. Your vocabulary is getting along very nicely. Hey? It's still stinking hot. <laughs> I think it's 38 outside at the moment, turning like 1 o'clock. So we're hiding in here, we've got the air pump range, but it's, you still feel it, it's just feel it radiating off the van. Uh, what are we doing over here? I'm just doing some arts and crafts. I say that because if he's not quite ready for arts and crafts yet. <laughs> we're doing colour matching and shapes and um, yeah, colouring in. I'm about to fire on my laptop and do some editing. Um, but first I'm making a couple of iced coffees. So like we've said before, we just use instant uh, coffee. So I just mix up a little bit with water. And I put ice in it, uh, stir it around, and top it up with milk so you get like an iced coffee. It's pretty good. It's not Macca's iced prep, prep, whatever they're called, but it's pretty good. And yeah, we could do some editing and then hopefully this afternoon if it cools down a little bit, we'll get outside, we'll go for a swim and uh, have a chat to a few people that are around. Nope, uh, friends that we made last night are here and then we've just watched three or four other new age bands. Four, four new age bands. Please. Yeah, so we've watched... Half an hour. There's a Desert Rose, a Rodale. A Big Red. A Big Red and whatever that... The XU or a... Uh, big Bay Station looking one. I don't know what that one's called but... I'd like to have a sus out because it's huge. <laughs> yeah, Alright, catch you guys. See, they look pretty good, don't they? Yep. <laughs> Alright, our first driving day in the NT, and we finally have rain. rain. <laughs> We've been forecast for rain for a while now, but it's been clear blue skies in yeah, Queensland, hasn't it? It's been hot and very sunny with some slight build up. But it rained in the early hours of the morning, or this morning. And yeah, it's finally just come over. It's only 7.30. Really early today. Really early start. Yeah, but we need to. We're trying to make it to Daily Waters today and from here 
it's 517, was it? Something like that, yeah. 570, so massive day for us. We pretty much only ever do 400, complete, absolute max. So this is a huge day. Uh, nice early start. I've got the esky bag full of food and drinks. Yeah, we're gonna hit the road. Hopefully this rain doesn't last for too long. But at the same time, if we don't make it, it's not a huge deal. We've got enough water. I do this every time. I feel like I'm this, not going back to Queensland. I feel like this roadhouse is on the wrong side of the road. I swear, he just ended up going around a circle with you. A hundred percent. Three ways service station. This is actually the fourth time we passed this servo uh, in our travels. Once when we came from South Australia all the way up to Darwin, again on the way back down, and then we had to come back up to the Barclay to get into Queensland because the Plenty was closed, uh, and now we come back across the Barclay. So fourth time in, what has that been, six months? Fourth time in six months we've come past it. time on the side of the road today. I think we're just uh, 100k south of Elliot. Um, but the roads are really quiet. I think from three ways we've done 100k since there. We've seen four other vehicles I think. It's really quiet on the roads today. Huge contrast to when we were on this same road back in June uh, where it was just chaos. It was a constant stream. It was such a busy dry season uh, in the Northern Territory this year. Well, we were there. I don't blame everyone. But yeah, it's a bit of a contrast um, and it hasn't rained too much, which has been nice. We had a good shower for probably about 20 minutes of that drive, but the rest has just been overcast, nice and cool. Hardly have to use the aircon, don't we? Yeah. Just keep turning it off, it gets too cold. Yeah, it's too cold and bad. <laughs> yeah, but it's a nice change. And you puppers are just cruising in the back here. You're cold to touch. Ain't you happy? We'll get you out, hey? Yeah, you can pat in a second, kiddo. Let's get some lunch sorted, hey? And we've got a sore paw in here, don't we, Costa Boy? Yeah. Running on all those river rocks. A few days off. Rest and recovery in the back seat of the car, hey? Yeah. Yeah, you'll be okay. Here we are back at Daily Waters. So we've decided to stay the night in the caravan park that's attached to the Daily Waters pub. And we haven't stayed here before. The last time we came back through, it was way, way too busy and it was pretty much booked out. And we only went to the pub for a plate of chips and a couple of beers. So tonight we're gonna to go and have dinner in the pub. Now I think we rolled in just in time because there's this huge storm cell that's moving across and it's now suddenly overcast and there's big fork lightning around. Mark's taken Liam to explore the Daily Waters Street here. There's old planes and helicopters and a whole bunch of other stuff that you can have a look at and uh, enjoy. And there's also Tim's Junkyard, which is by donation to Antel. And there's some really cool stuff in there. So worth having a look in there when you come past. Now, the poor dogs are completely freaking out. I feel a bit sorry for them. They've had a really rough few days, uh, with, or a few weeks with storms, actually. Costa, not particularly phased about thunder, but poor Kiri, I'll show you how she's doing at the moment. It's okay, honey. So we basically just to try to provide her a safe place um, when she's feeling really frightened and we just leave her be. We try to move her and she just goes back. So she is always in the place where she feels the safest or the most comfortable. Um, so we just leave her and we just keep an eye on her in case she needs us but there's really nothing that we can do until this storm passes. Now Costa Boy is just down here behind me. You don't care do you mate? You're just happy to be inside in the air conditioning. Yeah. 
So Mark might have mentioned, but he's got a really sore front right paw at the moment from staying at uh, the Camu Wheel at Billabong. And we think he's just grazed his pad on some sharp rock. So I managed to get a look at it this morning. He's not been letting me touch it. Um, obviously not a break, uh, otherwise he wouldn't be walking on it. Um, doesn't yip when I touch it. It's not infected. I did pull some stones and um, mud out of his pad yesterday and it already seems to be better today he's not looking at as much so just keeping an eye on him but yeah they're definitely getting old these two they just don't cope as well in the heat or with um we used to run them at the beach every day and they're now only getting a beach run well they haven't had a beach run in a week now but we do get them off the lead a lot and mark and i will take them running with us when we go every uh second morning or so they're definitely slowing down all right, I'm going to do some washing while I've got the van to myself. And yeah, then I think we'll head over to the pub if it's not raining and go for a swim in the pool. The pool looks lovely. And I'm not sure if I mentioned, but we may stay, end up staying just one night here. I've only booked one night. And basically that is um, because there's no, not many water hookups in the caravan park at the moment. And the water hookups that are available are untreated boil water. Mark and I aren't too keen on that. So we may just stay the night here and then move over to the wayside in which is like 5k's down the road where their fuel station is and um, that has considerably improved since we were here six months ago they've got the pool redone and they've got a spa now and the sites look beautiful they're grassy green and very lush so we're sort of questioning ourselves if we should have stayed there tonight as well and done two nights there i just saw a huge flash of lightning i'm just waiting for the thunder there it is that was a river. Ooh. You know it's a big one when it rattles the whole van and then you question your life choices after that. <laughs> Monday. How's the rain? Heavy. <laughs> Sheltering inside. Yeah. And I think because the soil here doesn't get a hell of a lot of rain. So quite dry, it's just pulled instantly. It doesn't yeah. absorb. One ten. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, he actually almost fits these boots now. Yeah. So what's the go? What do we do when it rains? <laughs> well, if it was cold outside, then uh, we would just be hanging in the van. But it's lovely. So we've got Liam and his nappy and his little gum boots, and we're just gonna go for a splash. I can still hear some thunder, so I'm gonna keep an eye on the sky. <laughs> And I can feel the rain getting heavier already. <laughs> yes, it was very heavy earlier where it's just, <coughs> just a light rain. More than a sprinkle, but not a downpour yet. Wow, look at all these yeah, so many puddles. That's a nice big puddle, Liam. <laughs> You've gone full bogan, look at you. <laughs> Are you talking about me or Liam? <laughs> Both of you. Yeah, I've gone full bogan today. Oh, that went right up. <laughs> yeah, right up your legs. <laughs> hey, Mom, good job. Good job. I want to get him, get him. Storm's coming. Over that way. Oh, I think you might be right, mate. <laughs> what can you see? Storm. Oh. Over there. Plane. Here near the plane, that's right. They got the shell of a plane over there. Right, we've had our fun. It's time to go to the pub. Mountain. We've tucked Kiri down under here. Because she hates storms, then you Kiri girl. You don't care much, Costa. You're just a bit precious at the moment. Salt pours from the river rocks. They'll be okay here for a little while. Um, the pub's literally 50 metres away. So we'll come check on them shortly. <laughs> so still at Daily Waters. Yeah. Um, and we've watched them just feed 
Kevin the crocodile, the little saltwater cro crocodile that they've got, about three meters long. And then we just watched them feed these guys. Uh, Bud and what was her name? Can you remember? Bud is the, the male and Buffy the female. So yeah, we just watched them tip over a, like a hay bale for them. I've got a goat as well that's called Blackface. It just follows the owner. Like a bad smell, like a little <laughs> lost puppy. It's actually really cute. And yeah. then they put it on a lead Ow. on a tree in the cavern park and Mommy. it like... Just bleat it all day. All day long. <laughs> hey. Okay. No. No, no tunes. I can you see the very horses good with your... too. Oh, the horse is about... Yeah, there's yeah. A, like a mama horse and a baby horse cruising around. What's a baby horse called? A colt. Colt. Oh. There you go, I just let something know. <laughs> Does the baby one have a name yet? Bonnie. Bonnie. Polly and Bonnie. Can you say Polly? Yeah. Okay, yeah, film the horses for Mama, please. Baby. Show everybody's baby horse. There we go. Cool. Yeah. Hmm. Hi. That's pretty cute. What do you think, eh? Yeah, they're cute, they're cute, eh? You can pat. The so big one's Jed, the little oh. one's Charlie. Hi, Jed and Charlie. Yeah. I'm gonna pat. Hmm. Now you can give that to the big white one. That's only water. See that? He's quite happy with that. Yeah. Give your handle there, he'll pull it out your hand. <laughs> now this is Jed. Okay. So. Yeah, they do. Yeah. There they go. There we go. Yeah. I'm going to hang on to it, eh? Yeah, thank you. Yep. So where do these two come from? Uh, they come from the station out the road. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. Oh, yeah. You help? Good job, kid, eh? Like that. Good boy. Yeah. Little one's about probably a bit over three months and the big one's about three and a half months. Yeah, right. Well, yeah, they grow pretty quick then, don't they? Oh, they yeah. Do. Yeah, we give them pellets, these like growing pellets. Oh, yep. yeah, speed up a bit. Yep. Yeah. And now they've got the green piece of grass now and beef. Let them wander around. So we're going through them and through them. Yeah. The nature, isn't it? Yeah. How's that, kiddo? Yeah. You're not really sure about it, are you? Yeah. 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 Having lunch? Yeah. 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 Yeah.